Afrobeat news. So the year 2022 has started and we've seen some uplift in the culture, in the Afrobeat culture. We've seen some major, major link up that have proven or that have shown that Afrobeat music can go global. And we've just been seeing some upsurge in listeners for Afrobeat music. And we've just been seeing some really exciting times in Afrobeat music. From Rema linking up with Chris Brown to Omar Lee linking up with Justin Bieber to someone like a Fireboy linking up with Madonna and Chevy to mention just a few. We've seen some major, major positive impact in the culture. However, some people have actually done certain things that may derail the culture's growth in Afrobeat music history. Now, what am I talking about? I'm talking about the DJ, the official DJ of DMW. That's David O, official DJ, the one and only DJ Eco. Now, in case you're wondering who this guy is, let me just let you guys know. This guy is one of those persons that you expect to not be in the conversation at all if he just do his job. I mean, if this guy was a good DJ, we probably would not be talking about him. In fact, I think we might be singing his praises today. However, this DJ is in the news simply because he did a terrible, terrible job at one of the biggest official events in Afrobeat music history. What am I talking about? I'm talking about the prestigious O2 Arena. Now, in case some of you guys don't know, on March 5th, David O headlined the O2 show, 20,000 capacity arena. Maybe it was a little bit less than 20,000, but who cares? It was David O up on that stage and it was supposed to be a spectacular night that fans were going to have a thrilling performance on David O. Now, first off, the video did not come prepared, right? It was obvious the video did not come with his live band for some reason. Let me give the excuse that probably they were not able to fly his live band down there. Now, it was up to his DJ to uphold the night and really help sustain the video's um, impact in the culture. However, that's night of all nights, one of the most prestigious nights, I think, one of the biggest nights of his life. That guy gave one of the worst performances ever. Instead with this guy deciding instead of doing what DJs DJs do to make their own mixes and try to prepare some of the best concert songs for such an iconic um event, this guy decided to go through trendybeats.com, one of the commonly known, you know, YouTube mix by random DJs out there. This guy decided to just go and download a trendybeat.com mix, the video mix. And remember, these mix are not some of the best concert songs. So there are some random songs that doesn't always fit momentous events like the O2 Arena. These are not the best concert song. So this guy said to do that and he thought nobody would really catch up to it. But fortunately, they do have some smart fans and they were really able to pick it up very fast. And this just ruined the whole event, the whole show. Added to the fact that the songs that we are being played are not really some of the best songs for concerts. And that was one thing. Another thing was during the time where this guy was supposed to play songs for Zlatan because Zlatan was up on stage and he decided to play one of the songs that he wasn't supposed to play. He played a song of Bonaboy. Bonaboy featuring Zlatan, Killing Them. That was a song he played. Or oh, it might be Zlatan featuring Bonaboy, but it doesn't really matter. So that song came up then this guy realized that he just messed up and decided to stop the song almost as soon as it came up and that just derailed the whole show Fans were already hyped up stopped the song momentum died down and Zlatan had to come back again so it was just one of those failed events that you guys need to witness for yourself without much talk guys here's a clip roll it let's go let's go So guys, as you guys have seen, DJ Eco by far has to be one of the worst DJs of Afrobeat music. I mean, let me not just say it's one of the worst DJs in Afrobeat music. He might redeem himself. So I would say it's one of the worst DJs of 2022 because this guy turned an iconic moment for David Doe, one of his biggest events this year 
into a failed event simply because he wasn't doing his job. And let me not put all the blame on DJ Eco. Like I put some blame on the video for not having a live van, but I would also put some blame on the sound guys. I don't know who who sponsored the sound guys, who were the people that hired the sound guys. I don't know if it's the O2 Arena people themselves or it's David Doe's theme or part of David Doe's theme, but whoever was involved in the sound system did a terrible, terrible job. At one of the biggest nights, remember this is this these events are usually planned weeks before, if not months before. But for some reason, the sound guy, they do himself to an extent, and the biggest flop of the night, DJ Eco decided to mess up on the biggest, biggest level, on the biggest stage. And this guy could not even come online and apologize. I think for some reason, he still feels the need to come defend himself and feel like he's justified what he did on stage. Anyway, he has some tweets from some... Um, annoying fans i don't think these are just david Doe's fans these are like a mixture of david Doe's fans bonner boys fans as well as whiskey fans that you see what a terrible job this guy did somebody by the name unknown tweeted this zlatan supposed break bottle for this eco head somebody else tweeted this this guy they foolish sharp another person tweeted this in reply the tracks he chose self weren't making sense to me zlatan gets personal hits why not play them? Another person tweeted this. The guy fuck up big time. Or more. When no be street concert. Somebody else tweeted this. Which kind of mood DJ be this? Another person tweeted this. Why he go kill that song like that? Somebody else by the name Francis or Motaya tweeted this. But she he could not prepare for the show before. Because I no understand. Another person tweeted this. It's obvious there was no proper planning and rehearsals. All of them just entered plane and went straight to stage. Um, you still have a couple of more tweets from fans and critics alike. You have somebody by the name Laba Laba Master tweeted, Iku did not do his homework at all. This is basic DJing and downloading songs from 20 beats. I nearly cried. Somebody by the name Agus tweeted, I hope he could read tweets about him tonight and voluntarily resign if he truly loves and wants the best for Davido. Somebody else tweeted, But she DJ Iku Sabi say him be bastard. Another person tweeted, Replace Iku with Toby Shang. Somebody tweeted this. Somebody by the name Calabar Man in Canada tweeted, Davido. Iku, after this show, I no one see you for like three months. Then somebody else by the name Big Daddy tweeted, DJ Iku is a clear example of when you get a job with connection instead of your qualifications. And that person by the name Taiwo Alabi tweeted, DJ Iku, are you mad or something? Somebody by the name Rovia tweeted, what is DJ Iku playing? Igwe Ke. And that person by the name Blip tweeted, nah, no way dog. What's DJ Iku up to bro? It almost feels like there are people in David Doe's camp that are trying to sabotage him cause. Anyways, this is why DJ Toons will always be ahead of all them. Top 3 Nigeria DJ, Whiskey and DJ Toons combo. Somebody by the name Black Cookie tweeted, Just imagine David Doe official DJ, they play David Doe's song from blog and David Doe they expect his fans to stream his songs from Spotify. Ikuna Wele. Somebody else, but the, uh, the same guy, the same blip guy tweeted, This man had more than five months before his O2 show and he couldn't even prepare his live band and sound engineer. And Iku, DJ Iku man, he really is not helping matters. Somebody by the name Big Praise tweeted, Don't even blame the videos fans that doesn't stream his songs because even his official DJ Iku was playing David O's songs he downloaded from TrendyBeats.com. Then somebody by the name Irunia tweeted, David o is a cool guy. If not me, I for don't wipe Iku extension cord for neck. Somebody by the name Prosper Ate Muiwa tweeted, This DJ Iku don't need to relax. David o needs to do quarterly review for his performance because it would be all this. Somebody by the name Oluma tweeted, Wallahi, I hear trendybeats.com as DJ Iku they play for Pato Ranking. 
if David Dono beats this guy up after showing <laughs> with laughing emojis, somebody by the name tweeted, he should chase Eko and everyone in charge of sound out the nine, then sue <laughs> you docs. UDUX on Tuesday. Somebody by the name Mixed Well tweeted, Now YouTube Eco learn this DJ stuff. Someone by the name Classic tweeted, Seriously, Eco they do nonsense for this David o show. Cause what the fuck? So yeah, those are fans' responses on DJ Eco's performance on the iconic O2 Arena on March 5th. And not to forget, all of these things with DJ Eco's poor performance at the O2 will still rub off on the video at some point or will still boil down to the video at some point people most likely would judge the show and generally based on eco's performance and people will rate the show lower compared to um the video's counterparts and this is just completely terrible so guys yeah year 2022 despite the fact that we are having some amazing amazing uplift in the culture we still have some terrible djs like dj eco giving some of the worst performances ever on some of the biggest the most iconic stage anyway guys what do you think about the situation don't forget guys to like subscribe to post notification and stay tuned for more afrobeats related entertainment and just coming at you i'm out now guys peace